Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this Bluetooth keyboard by this company right here. Here's the barcode in case anyone wants to scan it. And it looks like this one I got is for Apple TV or Fire TV. So this unit was sent to me for review. Let's open up from the bottom. Be easier. Right off the bat, the first thing I notice is that this silicon sleeve material it catches a lot of dirt. And we'll first, take it out of that sleeve, and the remote control goes on the back. This is a micro USB cable to charge unit, which is full of very lightweight. Charging ports right on the bottom. Here's my Fire TV remote control. I'm gonna show it in there. The Fire TV I have is the 4K one. Hmm. So the power button is covered, partially covered. The downside to that is if I rock this, and because now the button is essentially elevated, someone might accidentally press on this control and turn off the TV. Flip the switch, unit turned on. Wireless LED over here just went blue and then turned off. It is backlit. If you want to read any part more detail, feel free to pause the video. The pairing instructions are spot on. So, on my Fire TV, I'll zoom in a bit. I'm gonna head to the settings section here. Go down to Bluetooth devices. Go to other Bluetooth devices. Go down to add a device. So then on here, I press the shift and the function key at the same time, and this LED will light up. Three, four. This LED lit up. So then back on the TV side, it should come up soon. Once it comes up, I'm gonna hit okay. It's pairing, now it's paired. So back uh, here, if I press like home, for example, it jumps home. The directional keys are on the lower right-hand corner. I can go to raise, scroll down if I wanted to, search. Now this unit is very easy to use, very lightweight. I don't have any cons for the unit itself. This is comfortable to hold on, it's just that it attracts a lot of dirt. Initially, I thought that just placing the remote in here, it, it might just press the power button accidentally, but after the kids been using it today, no, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, it's, it's not going to hold on to the remote securely, the, we still can't toss around, it's not like a, a Wii controller. There is a curvature on the bottom over here, I can place the remote like this, but since this is now taking over as a Bluetooth function, as long as this unit is charged, I can use it to operate the Fire TV. I don't really need this, but just so I don't lose it, I can always just place this in here. Sure. 
it does add more weight if I place it, the the original Fire TV controller in here, but it's better than losing it. The unit goes to sleep automatically to help preserve battery life. And I'm glad that it's charged using the standard micro USB cable. Overall, I like this. I don't have any major complaints and I would recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.